Tom is here from Team HG at Action Sport Games at IWA 2019. Behind me is the beautiful Hero Arms CQR. Hero Arms is a German-based company, real steel firearms manufacturer. They came out with this new take on what a modern uh, CQB rifle could look like. There's some interesting things on it, but let's first talk about ICS. We made this rifle in cooperation with ICS. We have the great internals and body from ICS. The internals are the split gearbox with a quick spring change. You have two options uh, other than the colors, of course. The option one will be a standard MOSFET, very plug and play if you just want to get up and gunning. Uh, the second option is going to be a very advanced MOSFET system called the Triple S, and it's going to be in version two. With Triple S, you're going to get great features like pre cocking. Um, uh, lipo monitoring and burst mode, which is going to be programmable. Uh, it's going to detect other things like if there's any issues with the gearbox or any other internals, and it'll stop shooting and stop prevent you from damaging your rifle even more. So let's look at the externals a little bit. You're going to get the flip off sights. Everything here has been made again in cooperation with Hero Arms. We got the original 3D drawings to fit the stock to fit an AG motor. The original one was a little bit offset and we had to make the pistol grip a little wider as well. So again, great cooperation with a real steel firearms manufacturer to get this converted to airsoft. The front grip is going to be from uh, Hero Arms themselves. They made an uh, airsoft compatible one, meaning the polymer is a little bit different, so you can't use it on real steel. All these small bits and parts that you see on the stock or anywhere else that has the Hero Arms logo on it is shipped from Germany to Taiwan, where they assemble everything. You might say, wow, that's pretty, that's gotta be a logistic hell. And it kind of was, but it was worth it because you're gonna get that authentic feel and look of the Hero Arms. The Hero Arms uh, IRS um, handguard is, has also been uh, designed or manufactured by ICS in Taiwan, as well as the flash hider. Again, original Hero Arms design. So everything about this rifle stems from the real steel and it's all about giving you uh, that authentic feel and look. Uh, let me pick it up right here. I hope I don't screw up my audio too much. So, with the CQR, it's a very, like I said before, modern take on a CQB rifle. You're going to get that P90 feel all the way in. It's a heavy rifle. This isn't for your, I won't say bad words about other rifles, but this is, this is a heavy rifle. With the handguard, uh, sorry, with the front grip, a lot of people go, well, I don't want to go with a Tommy gun. No one tells you that you have to. It's just an option. You can still see clamp do the Chris Costa thing if you want that. But like I said, it's a heavy rifle. So that center mass due to its design is very much in towards your body. So you're going to be more, have much more movement during CQB uh, operations. And you know, movement means that you're going to survive a lot more when you're able to switch sides, shoulders, all that good stuff. So again, the Hero Arms CQR should be in stores about end March, maybe start April. Oh man, that feels great. I'm ready to film right now. Whoa, wait, oh, <laughs> how much? How much are we? It's just 20. All right, dude. 20. I got you, bro, I got you. All right, we're back. So right here next to me is the Shadow 2. So the Shadow 2, um, if you know GC, the Shadow 2 came out not that long ago. Uh, CC had top-tier competition shooters redesigned their iconic and beast of a gun, the SPL-1. This one is, I wouldn't say a replacement, I would say it's the new older brother. This is an older brother. This will get you out of any kind of raspberry jam that you're going to find yourself in. The slide has been redesigned. Instead of the more uh, hard edges, it has more of a curve. The serrations here at the front and the back are wider but deeper, meaning you're going to get, I wanna, don't want to flag too many people, you're going to get a lot more, do it again, get a lot more confirmation grip, uh, especially if you're wearing gloves. In the front, you got a fiber optics and adjustable rear sight. Safety is ambidextrous, want to flag too many again, it is ambidextrous on both sides. It is much more uh, more tight and more conf uh, confirming that with the uh, SPO one It was a little fidgety. We, uh, we have worked on that a little bit. Fidgety, is that even a word? Continuing. Uh, we've also, CC also cut down the, the safety. So when you're indexing your finger out of the trigger guard, you don't actually uh, hit it or anything like that. And it's also a lot better for fast draws. Speaking of fast draws, 
If we look at the uppercut, both at the beaver tail and the trigger guard, again, CC designed this in mind to get a lot more recoil management. Uh, it sits really deep into your palm, especially if you're fast drawing. You get right in there straight away. The pistol grips are more slick. There are, again, very good serrations uh, on the pistol's uh, shell, uh, the shells for the pistol grip, as well as the back and the front. And again, it all works in coexistence with that deep palm confirmation and recoil management. The trigger guard has been extended a little bit, going around this way, has been extended a little bit. So you get into that trigger really fast, especially if you're wearing gloves. Then serration in the front of the trigger guard when you gotta get that good, good shot going. Internally wise, we have a TM style compatible hob up and inner barrel, so there's a lot more upgrade uh, options for you guys out there. We're also, let me pull it back again. Wow, pull it back. Also, the outer barrel, we're gonna be releasing a uh, part or accessory on the side uh, with a thread outer barrel with the thread cap on as well. Again, uh, it has a SP01 style trigger, but again, we got a lot of feedback for the community and retailers, and we had complaints about the trigger. We have coded the disengager or the trigger system inside, so that metal on metal action, metal on metal, it won't grind away as fast, so it's gonna give you a better, better trigger for a longer extended time period. Moving on over here, uh, the magazine release. The magazine release is a precluding a little bit more than you see on pistols. Doesn't really matter, it'll still fit in most holsters and won't bother you. However, the magazine release is adjustable. Now, it isn't adjustable back and forth, but up and down. There are three preset settings, the 230, 3, and 330. It doesn't sound like a lot, but it actually does a lot depending on what kind of thumb, glove, or whatever. So that confirmation on the mag release does really do a lot, especially for competition shooting. Now don't be disregarded with the color and what it's actually designed for. This gun is a beast. It's CO2 powered. Yeah, CO2 powered. So it's gonna have a hell of a kick and it's gonna throw BBs out there on range without any issues. We are gonna release gas magazines as well if your site doesn't like CO2 or your country doesn't allow CO2 pistols. We are releasing gas magazines on the side or if you want, HPA tap it. So again, SP01, oh sorry, the Shadow 2, uh, hell of a gun, gonna be out maybe in a month in stores. Oh, we're on, damn. All right, next to me right here is the Scorpion Evo Tech. Now Tech, for the moment, stands for Tactical Ergonomics Kit. Name still pending. If you got some good ideas what we should call this kit, please let us know or let these guys know in the comment and we are gonna check it out. Briefly about this kit. So, uh, Action Sport Games wanted to give a little, little update to the Evo. So we went to a real firearms designer and went, what can you design for us? And this is what he came up with and we absolutely love it. Uh, bear in mind, some of the features are probably meant for real steel applications. Uh, so that kind of gives, uh, well, we want to keep the authenticity with, with the Evo uh, going. So that's why we had a designer, a real firearms designer, take a look at it. So the kit's gonna include a handguard, which is m compatible, an ankle uh, front grip, and a mag well. We're gonna release it as a complete Evo. Don't despair, we will release it as a uh, individual kit where you're gonna get all three parts and we're gonna release it as indiv individual parts as well. So if you have an old Evo and you want, just want the Magwell or the handguard, you can get that and it is compatible with the whole line of Evos. Uh, the original short, uh, carbine and BET, it is compatible with that, with the Magwell. One thing to note though, the Magwell does differ depending if it's a mid cap or a high cap. The size does matter a little bit, so you gotta be wary on which magazines you use the most. Again, these are prototypes right here. We are hoping mid 2019 they will be out in stores. These are 3D printed, but they are the final version, so our molds are ready to go. Again, if you got a better name, let us know in the comments. All right, new for IWA, the USW by BNT. We just revealed this one right here. This is very, very early prototype. This is more or less a blob of plastic. We could have come out with a more precise uh, mock-up, but we, we really didn't want to risk people getting the wrong idea of how far we were. So 
the USW Universal Service Weapon. Uh, if you go by the BNT booth, you'll see the real one. It's an absolute beaut. Now, we're still working. Everything is very early development right now. We just want to reveal that it will come out when we don't know. We're hoping late this year or it might be early to uh, 2020. As you can see, it has a collab collapsible stock and it is made out of a pistol configuration. The original intent was to give law enforcement a small weapon system that will allow them to reach targets further away, hence the stock. Uh, you might see on the real one, they have an Aimpoint Nano on theirs. With ours, we're gonna include a rail because Aimpoint said no. <laughs> we're not that big, not yet. So. Again, early mock-up, we're still working on the details. We're hoping for a CO2 version, but again, we will probably accommodate that with gas magazines on the side or flip it around, depending what the market wants or how it performs. We're still very early. So this is the first one, IWA. You saw it with these guys first. Are we doing one take or are we going to edit? 